Welcome to Level 1 Archery Coach's Workshop, Training, Examination and Certification, organized by Archery Association of India, AAI, Coaches Committee and supported by OGQ Olympic Gold Quest. The most exclusive, expansive, detailed, hands-on training, assessment and certification program in India. In this lecture, we will deal about documenting equipment. What is document equipment in archery? Once you have completed the bash sharp planing test and before starting the fine tuning process, it is important to write down the exact measurements of your bow. Having all of the equipment information documented will allow you to return to the initial settings if something strange happens during the fine tuning process. When your bow and arrow are fully compatible and optimum arrow flight and grouping have been achieved, then you will want to re-document the equipment for future reference. Following is most of the information that should be included in the documentation. A. Knocking point height. B. Bracing height. C. Tiller. D. Number of strands in the bowstring and the type of material used. E. Type of center serving and end serving. F. Bowstring weight. You can use a grain scale. G. Weight of bow at full draw. H. Type of stabilizers used. Length, amount of weight on each rod. The long stabilizer as well as the short stabilizer. In other words, everything you can think of to document your equipment. Next, number all your arrows. This enables you to plot groups and to plot each individual arrow. This process is very important in discovering which arrows, arrow groups consistently and those that don't, which group consistently and which don't. Another good technique is to place a small dot on one fletch each time that arrow hits the 10 ring. Best to do this only for the longer distances. Pretty soon it is clear what arrows you will want to use in competition. The ones with the most dots. When you are ready to start the fine tuning process, use a new 40 centimeter target face and use it as a plotting target. This will allow you to record each arrow impact and the number of that arrow to determine common impact points for each arrow in the bunch. Prepare to shoot from a distance you are most comfortable with, from 40 meters to 70 meters or, or you know, less or more, on a face size you are comfortable with. And depending on your skill level, shoot an end or two to warm up before starting the plotting process. After warming up, shoot a group of six to 10 fresh arrows. Write down the number of each arrow and the impact point on the sample plotting target. Shoot at least two groups before making any adjustments. Remember to make only one adjustment at a time. When making a tuning adjustment, use a different colored pen for each time an adjustment is made or use another plotting target so that the results are not confused. Examine the groups for patterns to see in the group if it is more vertical than horizontal or more horizontal than vertical or if there is not discernible pattern. Reading the plotted arrow groups carefully examine the arrow grouping patterns you plotted. Note the different shapes of the groups and how the adjustments altered the arrow impact and size of the group. Examine each arrow by its number. Take careful note of any arrows that did not group consistently with the other shafts. Monitor these shafts to see if they are consistently out of the group as you will probably want to mark these shafts so you will not you will learn not to use them in competition. Vertical grouping patterns. If the groups are more vertical than horizontal, adjust the knocking point 1 by 32. There is 0.8 mm either up or down. Shoot and other two groups and plot the arrows in the same manner as described above. For future reference, be sure to write down your bow adjustment on each arrow group that you plot. Measure the distance between the high and the low arrow to determine an average between the groups.
This will help to identify if the high and low arrow impact has improved or not in the next grouping sequence. If it has improved, make another adjustment of 1 by 32, that is 0.8 mm in the same direction and shoot another two ends. If the high and low arrow impact is better, continue in that direction until you achieve the most consistent group elevation. Obviously, if the vertical impacts are worse, go back to the original setting and make the same adjustment in the opposite direction. Horizontal grouping patterns. While tuning, remember to continue the documenting process on each plotted arrow group for the one tuning variable that was changed. For horizontal adjustments, it is always best to adjust only the cushion plunger spring tension, not the in-out position of the cushion plunger. Make adjustments to the cushion plunger spring tension in 1 by 8 turn increments only. Shoot two groups and measure the farthest left and the right arrows, eliminating arrows where known mistakes were made in the technique. First, the, uh, make the first spring tension adjustment either stiffer or weaker and shoot two more ends. Again, if the group becomes wider, go back to the original setting and make an adjustment of 1 by 8 turn in the opposite direction. Compare the groups you just shot and determine if they're getting better or worse. If the groups improved, make another adjustment of 1 by 8 turn in the same direction and shoot another two ends. Continue this process until you have achieved the tightest possible grouping in the horizontal plane at that distance. If the groups do not change, continue following this procedure until the groups improve or become wider. At the point where the groups just start to get wider, go back one by eight turn to the previous setting and make a small knocking point adjustment. Remember, adjustments to the cushion plunger will often have same, some effect on the knocking point and it may be necessary to make small adjustments to the knocking point during the cushion plunger adjustments. Here is where you should see some significant group changes, hopefully much better. Remember to make only one adjustment at a time. If the groups become worse, go back to the original knocking point setting and make the same adjustment in the opposite direction to compare. Continue this process until the best possible groups have been achieved with a single adjustment. Then start making one by eight turn spring tension adjustments to see what happens to the grouping patterns. Obviously, if the groups are consistently great, stop and redocument all the settings. The fine-tuning process is a dynamic relationship between the knocking point height and the cushion plunger spring tension. Any change to one affects the other and it is important to understand this relationship. When making only one adjustment at a time, you will find the ability to continuously compress the up and down and the right and left grouping patterns into the best possible grouping your skill level is capable of. After completing this procedure, you should find a combination of adjustments that will either slightly or significantly improve arrow grouping. Once you have completed the long distance tuning, move to 20 yards, that is 18 meters, and see if the bow continues to group well here too. It should, but if not, look for a clearance problem. By shooting all your competition distances at the end of the tuning, you will have confidence in knowing that your equipment can perform well at any distance when shooting in competition. Well, so much for this session. Catch you soon with the next part. Let's break up here. Well, as I say again and again, since this lecture is loaded with information, it will not get into our heads easily. If it does, we all must be geniuses. Please listen to the lecture over and over again in our headphones. This will truly help you understand what I say. I can't say this in Hindi. You have to keep repeating till you are thorough with it. I will be explaining every part of the lecture in simple detail in several sessions all through the workshop and throughout the year till you have completely grasped it. Let me welcome you again to the National Level 1, Level 1 Coaches Workshop organized by the AI and supported by OGQ. The common mission of all of us it's just the same. To make India, our motherland, Hamara Hindustan, the ultimate in archery. Let's join hands towards this goal and chant 
ओम 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 ओलंपिक मेडल ओलंपिक मेडल नथिंग बट द ओलंपिक मेडल इन आर्चरी जय हिंद वंदे मातरम बाय बाय गॉड ब्लेस कैच यू सोन